Decisions require a few different factors. Are you ready to find out? This is CEO Trades, where money works for you. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at different stocks and how they're being affected in the market. The stock exchange is amazingly volatile, volatile for the last several weeks. And we just want to look at something here that is going to be changing, if not your homes, probably the world. What is that? The metaverse. Now we're looking here at the ETF Meta, ETF Meta, which has a double-edged sword news. I don't know if that's positive or negative, but we're going to look at this from the decision point making side. So we can see from a year's point that this coin, this stock, sorry, started at around $15 in the last year, around June 28th or so of this past year. And now it's at 1355. The news that's behind this is that Roundhill, which owns it, is giving up Meta ticker and they're going to start the M Met V, the Met V ticker. Now, why is this happening? There's possibility that it's being bought off by a bigger company. It's possible because if someone were to offer you five, 10 million, 20 million or more, I'm certain you would consider the offer as well because all you have to do is move to another ticker. And guess what ticker they're moving to? MetV. MetV is not up yet. I, I attempted to look at it. It's not up. I don't know when it's coming out. I haven't checked all that information. It's easy to check. If it is up, it is very easy to check. But most people don't even know where to look. Now, as we are looking into the metaverse, what is can be told from this. Decisions need to be made. Let's see if there's anything else that can point us in the right direction. Now, this is the Facebook meta platform. Is Right now, it's FB. Do you think that they're getting ready to take in that ETF? I would say yes. I, I don't know if it's going to happen. However, look at their stock in the last year. You can see it went from 274 all the way up to 318. It did go up to 378 back in September, and then all of a sudden, it went on a downtrend just as Meta, you can see that when it hit on November 16th, when it was at 1690, it went down to 1355 all the way. It looks like a big move from these hills. It's not a terrible move. It's just under 15% or so decrease. Now, is this the bottom? I don't know if this is the bottom. However, there is a good chance that this will be bought and restarted by a bigger company, meaning that this stock can go, this ETF, which holds different names in it, can take off once this happens, once this transition happens. Does it happen overnight? No. You might need to hold on to for a while. And these are the decisions that you would need to make. Microsoft is one of those major players out there. What did they do? They acquired that macro, Microsoft's acquisition of Activision is not yet a metaverse play. <laughs> Decrypt editor-in-chief says, well, the reality is, is that we know it's in the gaming industry. Microsoft acquired Activision. We know that something big is coming up on this. And Microsoft plays a big part in the metaverse. Now, look at this here. Goldman Sachs, GameStop, AMC sink amid larger market route. Yes, there's a lot of negative talk in the market. What do you do? Do you bail out? Do you stay in? Do you hold on? If you look at history. This is the decisions that you need to make. If you look at history, what does it tell you? Even if the market bottoms, it doesn't bottom out at zero. It doesn't bottom out at 99%. It bottoms out maybe 30% down, maybe 20% down. However, if you give it time enough, enough time, you're going to make your money. You're going to make returns. And these are decisions you have to make. See, most people are into getting instant gratification, into getting overnight returns. That's great. I've done it myself. I've gotten myself into some returns that leave, that make me wonderfully satisfied in the short term. However, in the long term, you've got to make these decisions. However, just be careful. Most companies are in it to win it. Even if you're invested, doesn't mean that a company is not going to go against you. They can. They can make what is known as a reverse split. They can make an offering. They can make other available opportunities in there so that they benefit as well. And that can happen 
at any point in time. It's happened with Tesla. It's happened with a lot of the major companies, GE. I've been invested with GE for several years now, and I've seen their, their stock go into reverse split. Actually, I think they did a forward split, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't looked into that investment in a while, and I've just let it ride. Now, in reference to looking into long-term investments, I want to go into the crypto space, and I want to look at one coin. Let me see if I can bring it up here before I share my screen, because I didn't remember that this plays a very important part in reference to decision making. So as I'm getting ready to share this screen here, I want to show you here one major coin that has made a shift in decision making. Now, I don't see it anywhere here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up on another platform. So that way you can see exactly what I'm talking about and you can make a decision for yourself as I'm bringing it up. Now, this coin has been around for a while and people in my Telegram group have asked me, well, at that point in time, when, when, when it was big, they were asking me, what do you think of investing in this? And which one is it? Safe Moon. What do you think of investing in Safe Moon? And as I took a look at it, you see, you see right now, it's almost worth nothing, actually. Why? Look up here in red. It's in small letters here. You might need to zoom in into the Safe Moon has been migrated to a new contract address. Read more here. Visit Safe Moon v2 page at coin market cap currencies sales of safe moon v2 so let's click there to visit it now this is the new safe moon right here and you can see it's worth a, a lot more compared to the old safe moon now when we went into the investment to this one originally i was asked if if you could invest in 10 different micro coins because these are micro coins which ones would they be so i created these series of investing a thousand dollars now how would you invest it i picked 10 different coins some of them have given me returns some of them have not that's normal and that's one of the videos that i have i'm going to put it up here in the links so that you can follow it shows how i picked these 10 crypto micro coins and some of them have given me money. Some of them have not. But the bigger decision that was made here is I didn't put this into a wallet. Why? I didn't feel it was necessary. What would have happened if I would have put this into a, a wallet? I might have lost the account value. My account value in this one is about three or $400 that I'm from my original investment of a hundred and something dollars, 110 bucks. And that's good news. However, I don't know uh, about the remaining people in my group. Why? If you put this into a wallet for safekeeping, this is a catch that I was not expecting. I didn't know I, I was going to get jump into this. You would have lost money. If we, if we research into the news here, we'll note that you were told to move your safe moon and take it out from its old safe moon into the new one and take it out of your wallet and so that it can be properly moved automatically by the by the software that it wasn't being invested in. I didn't know that uh, at, at any time. Now, as you can see here, Gaming Shiba, the next billion dollar token, well, I don't know about that, uh, looks can be deceiving on common crypto market trackers, which lends the question, what am I actually seeing? Safe Moon V2 hits new all-time high upon deployment. That's fabulous. Or did it hit the all-time high? If you look into the news here, which I was not, I was neglecting. I didn't, I didn't look into this news. I just let these micro coins ride and I left them in the software in the exchange because it wasn't a big amount. It was just a hundred bucks. Some of them I'm down to 20 bucks, but as time goes on, we will see what happens because a lot of these go through pessimistic times where people will sell out and then all of a sudden a wave of buyers will come in and bring it right back up. So as long as, Safe Moon keeps going. I'm keep. I will keep going with it, and I will show you little by little as I start to look at some of these and research them because I was just parking them and not neglecting what information they might have, what new news might be coming out. And I, now I've, I'm aware of that. Even if you have stuff in your wallet, you've got to take keep up with the times. Just parking your money, just parking an investment, doesn't necessarily mean that that is the best advantage for you. So this is CEO trades where money works for you, and if you want to double your 
your bank account, you must invest in your knowledge account so that your money account will grow multiplied. Here is a decision making that I neglected to see, and I expect you to understand why I tell you it's so important to build your knowledge account. Stay safe, and until tomorrow, where we'll look at another part of the investments on these microcoins.